the space commander of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, Aerospace Force, Sardar Jafar Abadi, has announced Iran's readiness to launch satellites for other countries. This declaration came during a recent interview on a special news program, where Abadi also shared details about the successful launch of the Saraya satellite and outlined the IRGC's future plans in satellite launches. Abadi underscored the significance of the Saraya satellite launch, describing it as the first collaborative effort between the IRGC and the government. Expressing satisfaction with the outcome, he stated, let's be happy and thank God, the launch was very good, and the satellite was placed safely in orbit. Iran's Saraya satellite, launched by the IRGC, is a lightweight research satellite developed by the ISRC, boasting a 50-kilogram payload. With its cubic design, solar panels, and antennas, it successfully entered a record-setting 750 km orbit, and its estimated operational lifespan is three years. The launch utilized the Keem 100 carrier rocket, representing the IRGC's latest solid-fuel rocket, surpassing its predecessor, CAST. This rocket is part of the Keem series, designed for more advanced models capable of launching satellites into geostationary orbits. Iran's space program encompasses military satellites like NAWR-1, NAWR-2, and NAWR-3, each with operational lifetimes of about two years. Looking ahead, the commander expressed optimism about future launches, mentioning potential collaborations with the space organization and the government. Abadi then proposed the possibility of cooperation with friendly and neighboring countries, possessing academic satellites or those with satellites under 100 kilograms. He asserted that the knowledge employed in these endeavors is entirely indigenous, emphasizing that no external country has contributed information or knowledge in this specific field. Meanwhile, two other satellites, Kahin-2 and Hadith, reportedly weigh 10 kilograms. These nano satellites are part of Iran's efforts to develop a national tracking system. Currently, a global tracking system is provided by the GPS of the United States, GLONASS of Russia, Galileo of the European Union, and Bidu of China. Kahin-2 and Hadif are also used for communication satellites and internet. The launch came a week after Iran launched the Saraya satellite. The satellite orbits at an altitude of 750 kilometers above the Earth's surface. It was launched with the Sfi made Keem 100 rocket. Tehran claims that Saraya was launched for peaceful purposes. However, some believe that Saraya is part of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, program. The launch of Saraya has sparked criticism from the United Kingdom Germany and France. They view Iran as violating agreements regarding the limitation of weapon technology. Tehran sees the condemnation as interference in its domestic affairs. Iran insists that the launch of satellites and rockets is a right that other nations cannot impede. While the United States views the launch of the satellite as weapon development, the rocket technology used in the launch of the satellite is said to be capable for intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBM.
During the tenure of Donald Trump's administration, the U.S. demanded that Iran refrains from developing missile and long-range rocket technology. As Iran refused, the U.S. added sanctions against the country. Amidst sanctions, Iran continues to develop its domestic technology. In fact, in 2020, the IRGC launched the Nur satellite. The launch was both surprising and infuriating to the U.S. and its allies. The launch of Newer demonstrates that the various sanctions imposed by the U.S. and its allies have failed to dampen Iran's ambition to develop long-range launcher technology. In addition to being used for space, the technology can be used for missiles targeting various locations on the surface of the Earth. Iran persists that its technology is being developed for peaceful purposes and self-defense. Tehran declares that it will not incite hostility. On the other hand, Iran will be ready to retaliate if attacked. 